All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use the keyboard to drag copy selections at the same time, and also how we can copy documents and layers around multiple documents. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a little simple picture here with a couple of windows, and I'm just gonna make a quick rectangular selection right here. And let's say I want to copy this down. Now, a few shortcuts for you. I can hit Command C, create a new layer, deselect Command V like I've showed you a few times. You can also do Command J on the keyboard and that's essentially a shortcut for Command C, new layer, Command V. I'm gonna undo that. Or my personal favorite is you can option drag. So if I hold down the option with the move tool active, notice I get two cursors. What this means is I'm going to be copying while I move and cut. So I'm gonna hold down Shift plus option so I move in a straight line and click and drag straight down and you can see that I'm essentially copying and moving at the same time so I'll move this down to where I think it needs to go right there and I'll deselect and now I've added another pane there that's filled with the um, blinds there and I can do that as many times as I want so option is a, is a nice shortcut for moving at the same time all right next we're going to talk about how to select a feathered edge in a selection and how we can refine that now, if I get a selection tool here, I'm just gonna grab this marquee to illustrate this. If I make a selection like this and copy, and I'm gonna hit Command J, that shortcut, and I'm gonna hide the background layer. You can see here that when I zoom in, it's got a really crisp edge, right? If I want this to be sort of feathered out or semi-transparent, I can apply a feather command to this outline. So I'm gonna hit undo there a couple of times, deselect. This time, before I make the selection, I'm going to come up here to my feather settings and I'm going to crank up feather pretty high so you can see how this looks. Now I'm going to make the same selection and do that same command, command J, hide the background layer. And now you can see on the edge, it's nice and smooth. So it sort of falls off to this transparent layer in the background. So you can feather your selections before you copy and paste them um, onto your layers. One other option for feathering. I'm going to undo that command again here. So I'm going to get my selection tool here, a marquee tool, and I'm going to make a selection. Whoops, let me undo this. I've got to set my feather back to zero. So I don't have any feather. I'm just going to make a selection with no feather. Now once you make a selection, you'll notice this refine edge tool pops up here. And I can click on refine edge now. And in the refine edge command, you can mess around with quite a few different settings, but notice there's a feather option. So I can increase the feather directly from this area right here, and there's many other options you can use inside of this refine edge to refine the marching ants border, if you will. And once you're done with that refinement, you hit OK, and now I've created that feathered selection. Now when I do that Command J command and hide the background layer, you'll see that I have that feathered edge. So it's sort of a way where you can see how the feather command is going to look before actually applying it as opposed to applying it with the feather value here. Oftentimes, we want to move one layer from a document to another layer in another document. So I've got two documents open here inside of Photoshop, and I'm gonna show you how you can move one layer to another document. Now with your Move tool active, all you really have to do is just come in here and click like you're going to move this around, but you move it and hold your mouse up on the new tab of the new layer for a second, and it'll pop open this document, then just move back down into side of here and let go of the mouse button. And that will go ahead and paste that document, that or rather that layer, inside of this document. So that's one way. Another way you can apply the same command is by using the tiling feature of the Windows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Window menu here, and there's a command in here where we can arrange, if we, if we have multiple tabs, we can arrange them in various ways. So it's the first one here, it's called the range. Now I'm just gonna put mine on two up vertical, which basically means it's gonna have two windows side by side. Now you can see that I've got my left pane over here and my right pane over here, but they're two separate documents. Notice this one is the Simon and this one is the Tim. This one just happens to have two layers. So once you have your layers like this, you can simply just click one and drag it over to this document here and let go and it will copy it right over. Okay, so you can switch that way. I'm gonna switch back to single mode so that's consolidate to tabs. And I'll show you a third way. A third way you can copy layers is you can come over to a layer directly. So I'm gonna come back to this document here and you can right click the layer name right here and say duplicate layer. 
And if you have multiple tabs open, you can choose where you want to duplicate this to. So it says document. I'm gonna switch to this to my Tim Green document and hit OK. And basically I duplicated this layer into this document and you can see sure enough, there's another copy of that. So that's a third way where you can use the clipboard to copy objects between documents.